What's happening YouTube? I am really excited about the video I get to bring to you guys today and that is because I finally think I found my perfect hunting pack setup. The perfect hunting pack to me has been a really elusive thing. I've been looking for quite a few years and I like some of them but don't fall in love with them. Some of them are really uncomfortable to me. I like parts about some and parts about others and just really wish I could create that perfect pack but I don't have a company to do so. So I think I finally found what I'm gonna work with and I am really excited to share it with you guys. I've really been through them all. I've looked at Kuyu ones, I've looked at Scott's Eberly Stock, Alps, Stone Glacier. I own Mystery Ranch for a little while. I own Kafaru bags, I've owned Exo Mountain and none of the systems worked perfectly for me for whatever reason. But what I just kept going back to was, man, I really like Kafaru's frames and I really liked Exo Mountain's bags. Now, if you've looked at one of my other reviews, my Kafaru 44 mag, you know that I believe this Kafaru frame is bar none probably the best frame out there. And that's for my body. It may not be for yours, but it carries weight really, really well. It doesn't feel like you're carrying the weight that you actually are. It's super comfortable. And the thing is built like a tank. I don't think I'm ever gonna have any issues with it. That being said, I wanted to like Kafaru's bags and I just couldn't. They're really well built. I don't wanna talk crap about them or anything like that. Just for me, I didn't like the organization of them. I didn't like how some of them had zippered side pouches where I really felt like my tripod and my trekking poles and everything like that were a little exposed and not really secure. I didn't like the storage on the inside. I felt like you had pockets that you could never really practically use. So I just felt like I was overpaying for a bag that I didn't truly love. But I really loved Exo Mountain bags. I don't like their frames. They don't fit my body great, but these bags are great. I like the smaller hood. I like the roll top designs. These Exo Mountain bags have a deep pocket that you can put your trekking poles, your spotting scope, tripod, whatever you need. And they also have the short ones that you normally see on bags for your Nalgene bottle, tarp, whatever you want to put. So they have the best of both worlds without sacrificing. I really think these are well thought out bags. I like the kangaroo pouch on the front to put a down jacket, whatever you want, lightweight in the front so it's easily accessible and something else that seems like a really, really small thing, but it just shows how well thought out this bag is, is where your hydration bladder goes. It is bigger than what a hydration bladder needs. It's a whole sleeve. You can put dirty clothes down there, wet clothes, and it separates it from the rest of the bag. It's almost like its own separate quick use dry bag. And I just really think these bags are well thought out. So I was like, man, like the bags from Exo, like the frame from Kafaru, if only there were a way to create that perfect setup. So I said, you know what, I'll give it a try. Unbeknownst to me, this Franken pack to create with an Exo bag and a Kafaru frame is stupid easy to do. And I wish I would have done it a really long time ago. Up at the top, it's just Velcro from Exo Mountain, so you can almost set your length. But even if you couldn't, the buckles and the spot for the straps and everything from Kafaru is exactly the same as Exo Mountain. I don't know how they set that up, but it fits perfectly. Same thing with the bottom. Straps go in perfect, same width, same everything like that. You can strap it to your pack just fine without any issues. Now there's a couple of things you do need to do to make this pack setup work. Super easy to do though. You just gotta cut off some buckles. Now I'm not super impressed with the Exo Mountain buckles. I don't think you're gonna have a problem with them, but they're definitely not as beefy as the Kafaro ones. So I wasn't upset to have to swap that. But literally, I just cut one of these gray buckles off, put a Kafaro one, ran the strap to the frame, called it a day. Now I got cinch straps, bag stays nice and put, no issues. Literally the only other thing I had to buy was I was too impatient for the Kafaru buckles for the hood. Went on Amazon, found them for like 10 bucks. 
these ones right here. My wife had to help me because she has smaller fingers, but that is literally it. I needed $50 for the straps and the buckles and my wife's tinier fingers, and I was done. It took like maybe half an hour, and now I have my perfect pack set up. So maybe this isn't your guys' ideal setup, the Exo Mountain with the Kafaru frame, but I just wanna let you guys know that they are out there, that you can create your own pack setup and maybe find your perfect one if you're struggling with it. Now, if you wanna check out this exact one or the 4800 from Exo Mountain, I didn't try the 1800 because it's too small for what I do down here and there's really just no reason for me to buy it, but I'm sure it fits on this frame also. If you guys wanna check out how I did it, Jump on down to the comment section, let me know. Super easy to walk you through what you need to buy. And like I said, it takes like half an hour of your time and who knows, maybe I'm just dumb and you guys can do it even faster than that. But that's just a real quick down and dirty on what I believe is gonna be my perfect pack setup. It's the Exo Mountain Bags with the Kafaru frame and it's super, super easy to set up. This is the Franken pack that I'm gonna roll with this season and I will let you guys know how it goes. But do me a favor, if it is your first time here, jump on down, hit that subscribe button, lets us know you wanna hang out with us a little bit more, and it lets us know where we should take this content and what direction the channel needs to go. So you'd be doing us a huge, huge favor. So that's gonna wrap this up. Until next time, Matt with Deer and Donuts, goodbye.